What's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how I did this Buffalo Bulls design. I really just found this on Google by searching up Buffalo logos and I really liked this one right here so I went ahead and stuck with it. As you can see I'm using that iPad there as a reference and now we're just gonna go ahead and get started using the hair design stencil which is gonna help avoid make mistakes. So my next move when I'm actually using the trimmer is not gonna be a blind guess. Instead, it's already predetermined. I'm, I'm already drawing out the blueprint right now. And if I don't like what I draw, I can erase it with aftershave. Normally when I start doing these designs, I like to start off in an area that's of high detail. So I do more or less the face first because it is the hardest thing to do. Then I can place everything else after it, like the body and the legs, which is a lot easier after I've already done the very hard detailed face. And uh, using the stencil just helps avoid make any mistakes. I can get to high detail using the stencil. I could do designs without the stencil, but I can get it to such an amazing level of detail with the stencil. Uh, this is the same way that tattoo artists do their work. A tattoo artist will put the stencil on your skin and then he'll put the needle and the ink on you just to avoid making mistakes. So, you know, if a tattoo artist does it, why can't a barber do it? It's the same thing, all it is is the outcome that we're looking for. But yeah, now we're done with the face and we could do the legs and the rest of the body real easy. The face is the hardest part. I will be honest here, I was a little worried doing this design. Uh, by the back legs, I mean, I didn't want everything to be smushed together and, you know, to have like a, you know, weird, dis discombobulated looking buffalo walking around. Uh, but it ended up working out. I, I ended up uh, uh, altering the shadow under the uh, buffalo just to make it look a little bit better. But yeah, now we're pretty much done using the uh, stencil. Now we're actually gonna get into using the trimmer. I right now am using the uh, cordless outliners. I have the regular little short blades on them from the regular outliners. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna start outlining and pretty much we're just gonna make everything bald except for the lines that I drew. So yeah. So one tip I have for you guys is that you guys should take your time, plan ahead. If anyone wants a design with me and it's not a very simple design, I definitely have them make an appointment. And usually I, I will schedule these to be my last haircut of the day because I wanna take my time, I wanna do it right, 
and I don't like feeling rushed for that next haircut to come in. So uh, I only took like 82 minutes on this entire thing. The entire video before editing was like 82 minutes long. So less than an hour and a half, which was faster than I thought. I thought I was gonna take an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes, but I've been working on this speed a little bit better. But yeah, I would just urge you guys to plan ahead, have your customers make an appointment, and, uh, and be prepared. All right, so now I'm using some Elegance Shave Gel just to provide a smooth shave. And I'm using my Detailed Barbers Blade Holder. I got the blue one, but it is available in red, white, and black also. And I'm using Shampoo Blades. So with the combination of a good shaving gel, a good blade holder, and premium razor blades like shampoo blades, you're gonna make your comfortable, uh, comfortable, because you don't wanna do an irritating shave at all. That's the last thing you want for your client. And then I will be using color enhancements. I think it's totally fine to overdo it just a little bit with color on a design, specifically designs. Uh, someone's hairline and beard is a totally another subject most of the time not necessary but when it comes to design a design is already a bold statement a design I mean it's like stars and stuff on someone's head you know it's it's it it's an image on someone's head so you might as well go ahead and uh, and make that bold statement certified just by giving it a little bit of an extra touch with color enhancements. And you'll see me do that a little bit towards the end. So I did a little fade on the sides just to make the design pop out more. But right now I'm actually applying the Kiss Express color enhancement. This is a semi-permanent hair color enhancement that'll last like three days and it's just instant stuff. This one's by Kiss Express and uh, it works very good. You'll see right now, especially by the eyes and the face, that everything's just gonna be a bit more defined. And it's just gonna make all those lines stand out more. And now I'm using Graphitech color pencil. Easy to use stuff. It's instant, but it does rub off, but it's very good and it gives your designs an easy, appealing image immediately. It allows for a big pop and you know, just colors. Color is life, man. Color will make these designs pop. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is how I did the Buffalo Bulls design. Let me know your opinion in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that like button and follow me on Instagram. I do plenty of designs. You'll see a lot more designs right now, but here's a good picture. This is the thumbnail right here. And this is how you do the Buffalo Bulls design. And I've done plenty of designs actually. I'll show you this design real quick. It's very fast. I have the full video on this one in another video on my channel. I'll try and link that in the description. But yeah, designs are a lot easier now, much easier. And uh, all it is is planning ahead of time. That's pretty much all it is. But yeah, I'm happy that you guys are here and I'm real grateful that you guys are you know, taking a time out of your day to be here on this video. So again, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and peace. All right, so I just wanted to uh, let you guys know about this giveaway I'm doing. I will announce a giveaway uh, later on this month. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested. I will be giving away some stainless steel combs. 
Yep, these are made by Japanese stainless steel. These are very premium and badass combs. And, uh, and uh, some blade holders. I got some blade holders here, uh, available in blue, red, white, and black. Some red ones, and some black ones, and some white ones. So let me know if you're interested, just comment and follow me on Instagram right here and uh, comment on any of my pictures and let me know that you're interested in winning either combs or blade holders and I will announce a winner not in this video but sometime this month maybe towards the end I don't know <laughs> I gotta pick a winner but I'm also giving a few more people the chance to enter for this giveaway so I will be doing maybe three giveaways uh, one one of each comb and uh, one blade holder, or, or a few blade holders. Yeah, I'll give away a few blade holders. I don't know how many giveaways I'm gonna do, but I'll probably do like three or four giveaways. And the siren's going off. I gotta go, they're coming for me. Peace.